Okay, doing a short video today on simplifying rational numerical fractions. So pause the video, guys. Okay, and have a go. So this is a typical, yeah, um, key stage two SATS question. Okay, for the first two ratio, not not that for the first question. It's a bit more juicy material. Okay, but yeah, simplifying fractions. Okay, pause the video. Yes, yeah, probably for key stage two, key stage three, just seen that to a maths higher foundation and also functional skills maths and got 11 plus maths and 13 plus okay common entrance okay so pause it have a look give it a go and then press play so it's in fact the first one here so look, there is both even so i can divide top and bottom by two so i get four twenty eighths okay and then divide top and bottom by two again because they're both even i get two fourteenths they're both even again so i can divide top and bottom by two finally and I get one seventh. Alternatively, you might have spotted that I can divide top and bottom by eight. That's fine, okay. But um, I like to see break it up here to maybe make it easier for my viewers to see, okay. So I divide top and bottom by two because they're both even. I got four twenty eight, okay. So we start with eight and six. Eight divided by two would be four. Fifty six divided by two would be twenty eight. Now I top and bottom again by two because they're both even. I get two fourteenths. My top and bottom again by two, and I get one seventh. Okay. Next one, I'm going to simplify the numerator and denominator separately. 16 plus 10 will be 26. 10 minus 4 is 6, so I get 26 sixths. They're both even, so I can divide top and bottom by two. I get 13 thirds. Okay, as a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction, I can write it as a mixed number. How many times is it three going to 13? It goes in four times, the remainder of one, so four and one third. Okay. And then lastly, okay, simplifying here, yeah, this is a bit more trickier. Okay, I can divide top and bottom by common factors. So I can divide top and bottom by three. Okay. I've got a three. And a six that will go to one that will become a two. Divide that two by that two that goes to a one that becomes a one. Okay, so everything there obviously comes here goes to one. Okay, divide top and bottom by two that goes to one that goes to five. That five can cut away that five there. That goes to one that goes to one. Okay, divide top and bottom by four. So you get one and you get two. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've exhausted here, obviously, everything. So on the top, you've got 1 times 1 times 9 times 1 times 1 times 1. Okay. That'll be 9. And on the bottom, you have 1 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 1. So that'll be 2. So I get 9 halves, okay, or 4.5 or 4.5 as a mixed number. Okay. So 9 halves is my improper fraction or top heavy fraction. Okay. To convert improper fraction to a mixed number, I find how many times the denominator goes into the numerator and how many is left over so two goes into nine four times because two fours are eight and then the remainder is going to be one because from eight to one the difference is one so i'm going to get four and a half okay so my mixed number is four and a half or i can write it as 4.5 okay but at this level where possible i try to avoid writing it as decimals Okay, where possible, yeah, when you obviously start in obviously A of max in the future, okay, it's important to leave your answers here in exact form or in fractional form. Okay, the reason why I say that here because one seventh as a decimal is, is a bit of an awkward decimal. And four and a third as a decimal, yeah, is a bit more obviously awkward because one third here is a reoccurring decimal. So it's actually one seventh. So where possible, you want to leave your answer in fractional form, in fraction form. Okay, to make it easier for the examiner. Okay, but yeah, okay, so we're about to, yeah, we obviously shy away from decimals, yeah, at A level max. As you see, it is okay, but as you see, the max, yeah, leave it as, yeah, a fraction as well. Okay, but that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share for more content like this. Okay, and comment your topic requests okay, below, okay, for all levels of math. Okay, I'm covering key stage one math. Right way through to A level max and A level 5 max. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. All the best.